you know, it's in these hot days in the middle, middle of August where I often will start to miss the cozy winter snowy weather. You know, winter is actually my favorite season. And I don't know if it's because um, because of the holidays that happen in December or just the actual peaceful, you know, cozy feelings that I get every time, you know, snowy weather comes around. But winter has always been my favorite season. This painting was something that I made um, a very long time ago, earlier this year. And I'm finally getting around to editing the video for this. And I'm also going to be talking about, you know, when a person should or is able to make art. And the reason why I decided to talk about this in this video is because I have not made art since I made this painting. Yeah, I, it was in the middle of January when I made this painting and um, I posted it on Instagram and that was the last time <laughs> I've, I've painted something. So yeah, it's kind of crazy because I used to paint all the time. I still love painting, but um, let me tell you a little bit about why I haven't painted in a while. So I, this year was very busy for me. I finished school. I graduated um, with my degree in animation in May. And then after that, I was lucky enough to have a full-time job ready for me. And, you know, because of that, I dove headfirst into working. And even before that, I was very, very busy with uh, both school and working part-time um, this, my last semester. The thing is, uh, because I was busy with very, I would say, things that are more important than, you know, painting, I think that's the reason why I don't like feel, you know, I don't feel guilty for not, um, painting um, for such a long time because you know right now painting is still a hobby for me it's I'm like nowhere near um, to the point where I could make make it a career even though even if I could make it a career for myself um, that's not that's not the goal for me at this point in my life <laughs> um, I my goal was to, you know, start a career in animation because that's where I, what I studied at school. And in my own, you know, focus, I was able to achieve that. But I feel like now that I've reached some, some sort of stability in my life, I feel like that's, this is the time now where I can get back into painting. And I feel like it's the same for most people. Um, making art, whether you're, you know, a kid, a teenager, or even if you're, you know, full-grown adult with their own their own lives and set of problems that they have to go through on a day-to-day -day basis, I feel like most people who are painters nowadays are people who are painting as a hobby. One thing that can one thing that can be a big struggle for us painters is that it will be a hobby for a long time and sure we'll get like a few commissions here every once in a while here and there it's something that i think i need to acknowledge for myself because for the longest time i had this idea that i could be a you know a great artist if i just work hard enough and i i think that is still true but um one thing that i really underestimated was the amount of time that i have and energy i feel like when you you know start working and like living um as an adult so to speak <laughs> you really found out you really find out how much energy you have um in the day 
so um and what i've discovered is that i am not very i don't have a lot of energy <laughs> and, you know um i've started i started this channel with a uh, sort of a fire um a long time ago actually and ever since then i've rebranded the channel and it's grown to actually 200 followers uh today i checked this morning um and i saw that i have 200 subscribers so thank you for that 200th subscribe. <laughs> um but yeah time and energy is something that i thought maybe i did used to have more energy when i was younger but that's a that's another thing that i definitely say is important for someone who is trying to make time to make art you need to you know really acknowledge how much time you have and much how much energy you have in the day and maybe even at night do you have time at night to you know start a new project for yourself there's been many times where i've been like up all night just working on a painting and that was very much the life for me that i enjoyed but right now i don't have that luxury anymore because with my full-time job um even though it's you know a nice it's not you know manual labor i'm not physically taking a toll on myself for the type of work that i do full-time it could be mentally draining sometimes and by the end of the day i can be you know low on energy and not have that motivation that i used to to make paintings and that mo level of motivation can vary many times you know throughout the week or throughout the month and the goal is to reach a point where i can sort of find balance in my life to make art and i feel like this is something that we all need to work on as artists, finding balance in one's life to set time and energy um, aside so that we can work on our projects, work on our paintings. All right, um, I kind of just like dumped out my thoughts for this video. I hope something might have resonated for you for, in this video as I completed this painting maybe you enjoyed the painting um if you did let me know but um if any of the words that i've spoken in this video have resonated with you let me know down in the comments below as well like i said i have been trying to make more time and energy for myself to make paintings and no promises but i do hope to start making more videos more frequently now that i've see reached uh, some sort of equilibrium so to speak i started working out as well and that's sort of given me more energy in the day but um that's it's also been a struggle because i think i've been struggling with my sleep because of my me working out i like sort of thrown off the natural like rhythm of my body because i've I've started working out. I've been doing like cardio and also strength training, but that's that's something maybe for another video. <laughs> anyway, let me know what you think about any of the stuff that I've talked about in this video. Let me know if you enjoyed the painting. And if you did enjoy the painting, you can leave a like on this video. <laughs> um, it really does help with the growth of the channel. I've been really grateful for many, many of the people who have been seeing my videos. And I hope to, you know, make more videos in the future that are more entertaining, more thought-provoking, and more artistic. So I'll see you in the next one.